So I'm in my 2006 Dodge Durango. It started fine, uh, but it won't let me take it out of park. So I assumed the problem was in here. And uh, with this right here, this mechanism, this slides and then this releases, it plunges back so that you can move the gear shifter. That wasn't happening. So I thought, well, I'll just manually push it in and get where I need to get and fix it later. Uh, okay. So when I turn the key, see that? It is happening, so I asked my wife if, when I press on the brake, if the brake light came on, and she said no. So I figured it was the switch at the brake pedal, which looks like, okay, so it looks like this, and here's the new one that I got for my 2006 Dodge Durango. So here's the new one. One thing I wanted to point out is there's a red tab that locks it in place once it's plugged in. Okay, so it's located. This is the brake pedal and it's located right up there. There's the electrical connection. I'm gonna plug this back in and then you'll see me put it in. Okay, so plugging this in. Maybe. Okay. All right. Okay, so there it's electrically hooked, it's hooked up to its electric. And uh, now I have to put it in that bracket right up there. It just twists in right there. See, so that's the brake pedal. All right, so I'm going to set down the camera and put it in there. And what it is, just so you, so you can see, see how it's got uh, what I call Mickey Mouse ears. It just slides in there at an angle and then you turn it to the right and it'll lock it in place. And then your brake pedal keeps it like this. And when you let go of the brake, it plunges out. And then that's what turns your light on and allows you to put it in gear. And this part only costs $21, by the way. Okay, so this is the old one and it'd be impossible for me to get my camera in such a way that I could show you. But this tab needs to be turned as such to to fully activate it, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I thought I'd explain this a little better um, when I was making my final edits for the video. So this tab, when you buy it brand new, should be sitting at a 45 degree angle. See how it's sitting at a 90 degree angle right now? It should be sitting at a 45 degree angle. And after it's in position and electrically plugged in, then what you do is you move that from a 45 to a 90 degree angle like you see here and that sets it and it can only be set once so funny story the first one I bought I didn't check it at the store I came home and I saw that this tab was already set at 90 degree angle and I tried it and it did not work I took it to the auto store they did uh, exchange it out I checked the new one the new one's at a 45 degree angle so these things can only be set once and so make sure when you buy your new one, it's at 45, then after you're done, after everything's set, then I flipped it back to what you see here and it can't be changed and then it's set. And just as a bonus, these are the instructions that came with my second one. My first one didn't even have the instructions, so obviously somebody probably used it and um, <laughs> you know did whatever, I don't know but the auto store made it right. So here's the official instructions I got with the second one I bought. And you can see where it's sitting at a 45 and they're even showing, don't set this until, uh, so you can just pause the video and feel free to read these instructions. And uh, disclaimer, this video is not a how-to, it's just how I did it. And it can maybe give people ideas 
Okay, so I've got this project completed. There's the brake pedal. And now we're gonna, and there it is. Sit right there. And it's, uh, like I said, it's just Mickey Mouse ears, what I call Mickey Mouse ears, twisted in place. That's what holds it there. And it's just plastic. So I have to be careful with it. Okay.